Hey folks, Larry Wingett here. I'm sitting out here in a new spot today. Um, I'm moving. I've got all this stuff going on around me and I just did an interview with somebody talking to me about why businesses fail. And um, they were talking about entrepreneurs. You know, you, most of you are business owners or small business people or entrepreneurs at some level. That's the kind of people who typically are attracted to what I do and what Chris does. And, and uh, we all know the failure rate. I mean, it's most truly most. In fact, it's nearly all who fail. And everybody's wanting to talk about the failure rate. You know why businesses fail? They deserve to. Rest with that one just for a minute. Businesses fail not because of unfair, unforeseen problems in the world. They fail because they don't deserve success. You know, I do lots of podcasts, lots of them. I'm not talking about my own. Uh, I do lots of podcasts for other people, maybe 20 a month sometimes. And what I, and most of them are for entrepreneur podcasts. And the first thing I always tell people, and it really bothers them, is that the worst thing you can do is become an entrepreneur. And when I get entrepreneurs, they say, well, I'm going to start my business. I always say, well, let me see here. How many books have you read about business? How much study have you done? How many entrepreneurs have you worked with? Did you do any analysis to see if there was a need for your product or your service? Uh, did you do a competitive analysis in your geographic location to see if you could even compete or what the other people are offering that you offer something different or unique from? What would make you stand out other than the fact it's you, which nobody gives a damn about? Uh, or if you haven't done all that, then you're just going to become one more commodity business that's out there and you're going to be trying to undercut everybody based on price. See how long you can last on doing that. By the way, how many books did you read on marketing? How many did you read on selling? Do you know the difference between marketing and selling? How many books have you read about hiring and firing? And Can you read a balance sheet? Do you have enough capital to stay in business in, in a couple of down months? Because you're going to have a lot of down months. What have you done to make sure that you can stay in business and last? What do you know about management? What do you know about leadership? Do you know the difference between management and leadership? Listen, if you don't ha have a good handle on every single one of those things and you haven't done the work, you deserve to fail. Entrepreneurs get into the business for the long, wrong reasons. You've heard me rant about this before. Oh, I'm passionate about it. Who cares? Are you any good at it? No, but I'm passionate about it. I don't care. Nobody buys your passion. They buy your product and service based on the value that it offers them. So it's not about your passion. My brother-in-law said I'd be good at this. And that's why people go into business. Your brother-in-law's an idiot. Really? Why did you get into business to begin with? What gives you the right to stay in business? We deserve all the failure we get. That's bottom line the way it is. So I want you to stop whining about all those external forces that are out there in the marketplace and you don't understand, Larry, how hard it is. Yeah, I do understand how hard it is. You didn't understand how hard it was going to be when you went into business. So I want you to stop right now if you're a small business person or any kind of business person at all, I don't care whether you're an employee or not, and realize that all the failure that you are achieving in your life, that you're experiencing in your life, you're failing because you deserve to fail, because you didn't do the work ahead of time to succeed. And don't blame anyone else. Don't blame external forces. It's your fault. There you go. Have a good day.